We rolling. What are we doing tonight, Matthew? More S2000. More S2000 projects. I think this is the last. This is it. It's, I mean, once we do the, the alignment. What else can I do to this car at this point? Um, fastback with a GT wing? No, negative. <laughs> Zero. No. So, boys and girls, some of you may or may not know, I'm a little bit ricer and I like fancy bits. What are you pointing at? What? You gave me a look. No, I was just looking at, at the mic, making sure the mic's working. I like fancy bits on the interiors of the cars. Uh, I, green is my favorite color and you'll see in the engine bay, there's a lot of green accents in there. I don't think I'd ever paint a car green because it's too much, but I look a little subtle, hence the green. We have a green car. We do have a green car, but that's an exception because the Exocet's a loud attention grabby car anyways, and it's just frame. Mm -hmm. So you need you need something that to it, needs, it, it does need to stand out. Yeah, you yeah. need something to, so it's seen. But if you guys remember way back my all motor ITB me out, I did a whole bunch of green stitching and leathers and stuff on there. I, this is before YouTube days. I did this on the Miata form days. But anyways, Napa leather wraps with, with like just subtle green stitching. So I did the same treatment to my S2000. Um, so I, this is a two part thing. Some of it I did myself. Some of it I sent out to my good buddy at MD Interiors Auto Upholstery. He made these door panel inserts for me. This is a mix between Alcantara and Napa leather and they're stitched with a nice green stitching. I have the name of the thread. It's Seraphil thread, which is the automotive upholstery thread. Um, and I have the color code right here. But before I get, do, get onto that, he also did a custom armrest cover for me. Same thing, Alcantara insert, Napa leather on the sides, and a Napa leather green stitched shift boot. That looks so good. I can't <laughs> wait to put this in the car. Um, but, you don't have to necessarily go to a custom upholster if you want to add some accented stitching to your car. So what I have done, and I don't know if, some, if I saw this somewhere or I just like came up with this. I think somebody mentioned it and I just tried it and I was like, oh, that actually works. But anyways, this is Seraphil R7371 is the green that I use. It's just a very clean, it's not a lime green, it's just a, like a deep green. Here's some projects that I was working on for the RX-8. So what I did was I went on eBay and I bought custom leathers and a leather armrest wrap and a leather shift boot, right? I bought them with black stitching because they only had them with lime green, if they even had green, but it wasn't the green that I wanted. So you can see here, tell me where you can see the black stitching in, it, in either of these. Probably can't. I can't at all, yeah. You can't. So if you get yourself some Seraphil thread, all you need is a mattress needle, which are these curved needles like so. All you do is you start on one side and you just stitch in between the black and just go through all the threads. And when you get to the, like here you can see I looped, I went up one, came back down, underneath, and then I just tied it off. And you can turn and you can add contrast stitching to anything that already has existing black stitching. Now some of you may say this is a little bit cheesy, but Matthew, I'm gonna take a little walk. I don't know how well this is gonna show up on camera because it's a little bit dark in the car. But I stitched the whole center console in my AP1 S2000 using that method. You could probably do this with the OEM door panel inserts. I just wanted something a little bit more fancier. But if you could see in here, Matt, you're gonna have to like dive oh, can, in there. I can get in there. Yeah. I went right down the OEM stitch line and when you, when you do this method, it just eats up the black. It, it's pretty much hidden underneath the stitching, but it gives the look of contrast to stitching without actually having to do a custom wrap or, and rip everything out. If you guys have done custom wraps, a lot of them are glue on, and it's a monumental pain in the ass, and it takes a lot of time and patience. Um, all, the, all the leathers that I did in the white Miata were definitely like that. And here, show the, I did, we didn't install one, one side of the door panel. But again, I didn't want the vinyl of the OEM door panel. I wanted something with some nice Alcantara and some Napa and MD interiors did a great job on these for me. They have preset colors that you can just order right off of their website. But if you reach out to him, he'll do, he'll do a custom um, design, pattern, color, whatever you want. Just gotta, just gotta reach out and ask. He does uh, multiple vehicles or is it mostly S2000 stuff? 
he does multiple vehicles. Uh, he was doing like a Lamborghini. Like he'll do like one off oh. custom stuff. I don't know what you have to do to contract him to do that, but he sent me photos of a Lambo that he was working on. Uh, oh, nice. Aventador. So we are going to tie together the interior of the AP1. I, let me know what else I could do to this thing at this point. Cause we did all the suspension. We did all the engine stuff. What's left besides like doing a, a stroker. But like, I don't want to break a good setup. And then ITBs, like for the gains you get for horsepower, it's not really worth it to lose the drivability, I don't think. I think there's like five wheel horsepower max in ITBs, but it's like, the ITBs come with a lot of headache. Yeah, but they do have that sound. But this car has like factory drivability. Yeah. And I, that's like a hard thing to part with. And it's like quiet now too. It really is a good car. It is. Just drive it, dude. I know. That's it. You got some stickier rubber. Let's do some so, track show days. Off, show off them slip, eight, slip angle media wheels. Oh, wait, I only got one with that. Let's have a cable. Oh, yeah. And you got your Advans. Advan Neovas. These are an 18 by 8.5 plus 50 offset square set up front and rear, and it's 235 4017 Advan Neova 8008R tires. It's good. Sick. So come, come to Watkins Glen with me next month. Doubtful. <laughs> I'm busy, but we are going to go to Lime Rock and we're going to test yeah. it and I, I'm hopefully set a new lap record. Um, let's throw these panels in. We'll show the wrap up and I think this is going to close it out for projects for the AP1 this year. Should be done. For 2022. Well, we still yeah. got to line it, but yeah. Oh, snap. She's all put back together. I like these little touches. Like it's such a nice thing to have in it. Isn't it? Yeah. Okay, look at the door panel. Yeah. Boom. And then I mean this may be a little bit too ostentatious here. The green quick release. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two-tone green too. Oh, it is. Wow. But yeah. I did get green titanium steering wheel screws. Nice. And then this is my favorite all-time steering wheel, the personal Neo Grinta 350 millimeter. I have, how many of these things do I have? Three. I have one in the FD and I have one in the NB with color matched stitching. Which one do you have in the RX-8? Um, that is a Nardi. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's right. It's a non-dished Nardi, right? Or no, that's what you had in the Miata. There is a little bit of a concave to that. It's a 350 millimeter Nardi. It's it's the one with the suede. I feel why I can't. It's a Classico, but it's not a Classico. It's got the black trim, mm -hmm. not silver. Either way. Well, Either I was way. just curious. I just love this wheel because it's a little bit thicker brim. That's beefy, and your hands just like fit in here. Very, very. It's like it's firm, and yeah. I love Alcantara because it works well when you're wearing race gloves. So on track, race gloves on Alcantara is, is, is nice. Yes, it wears more with the oils from your hands, but if you're just conscious about the grime on your fingers, a little bit of, little bit of soapy do here and there, a little. Some hand sanny. A little hand sanny. I put hand sanny <laughs> after I pump fuel just because I, I have a texture thing like Howard Hughes. I don't like touching people's oils. Um, but yeah, I mean, this thing looks mint. All, my, all the wheels like hold up pretty well and you can get suede cleaner. And yeah. I'll get, I'm gonna get a couple of beauty shots of this, of this interior. Hell yeah. I don't think there's anything else to like. Show look at carbon roof. Double carbon. Nice. And I was gonna get rid of these, uh, these Recaros. I think these are SR3s or SRDs? SR3s. And put Lotus Elise seats in here. But I've grown so fond of these because they do sit you a little bit lower. If you look at, like if I, if I kind of sit back, the seat's all the way back, five, Ten and a half. I'm lower than I am stock. I have plenty of headroom. I'm below the factory roll protection, so I don't even need to like dick around with a roll bar and add that weight to the car. But Quinn, why don't you wear a helmet at Lime Rock? Because you don't have to. So why in the French would I? And that settles that. But yeah, this is just like it. This is just feels like a proper driver's car. I'm so happy with this thing. I just I hope that this handles the way that. I think it's gonna handle after doing all these suspension upgrades. We'll find out soon enough. And it's gonna, if it does like, meows are, meows are history. This is proper. Proper, proper. All right, boys and girls, that's enough of my rambling. That is it for this one. Thank you so much for tuning in. 
check out our what do we want to check? What do you want to plug just here? Go slipanglemedia.com. Just go to slipanglemedia.com and do something. Just click on stuff. <laughs> Done. <laughs>